The Kawajima Formation is an early Cretaceous geologic formation in Japan. Its precise age is uncertain due to a lack of identifying fossils. However, it is now considered to probably be Baremian in age. Dinosaurs and other vertebrates have been recovered from the Kasiki Cave Fossil Bluff locality in the uppermost part of the formation. Mondrosuchus seems to have been a predator of small invertebrates that were either around a lake edge or within the shallows themselves, but was also an herbivorous. The fact that the feet were webbed while the tail had no swimming adaptation could indicate that Mondrosuchus were more concerned about maneuverability in the water as opposed to fast swimming. This would be a definite plus when hunting through the shallows and having to push through weeds and swim around submerged roots and branches. Kaganayas lived in what was a fertile, inland swamp-like region of Japan, possibly a large floodplain which was covered with water for most of the year. It almost certainly moved through the water using a snake-like swimming motion, using its short hind legs to navigate. Kaganayas probably fed on other small vertebrates or mollusks which have been found in the surrounding area, but this has yet to be confirmed by the results of the examination of the fossil's fecal remains. In 2008, the discovery of the world's oldest herbivorous lizard was announced. Known from a 115- million year old fossil jaw and skull bones unearthed in the Ishikawa prefecture of Japan, this significant new prehistoric reptile, which lived during the early Cretaceous period, has been formally named Kuwajimala, and researchers estimate that it measured 20 centimeters in total length. Albolophosaurus has been described as a basal ceratopsian dinosaur, but one that shows similarities to other ornithopod dinosaurs, particularly in dental morphology. This may suggest that Albolophosaurus was a particularly primitive ceratopsian dinosaur, perhaps even one that hints at the transition from ornithopod ancestors to more derived ceratopsian descendants. Monterictus was among the latest surviving Tritilodontids, and is closely related to the earlier Xenocritosuchus from mainland Asia, and the Jurassic Stereognathus from the United Kingdom. It may be a species of the genus Stereognathus, but resolution of its affinities conditions upon the discovery of additional material. The Kitadina Formation is renowned for its wealth of dinosaur fossils, making it a crucial site for paleontological research, providing valuable insights into the ecosystems of the past. During the late Lower Cretaceous, the Kitadani Formation would have featured lush, subtropical vegetation, home to various species of herbivorous and carnivorous dinosaurs, as well as other prehistoric creatures. It offers a window into a world where dinosaurs roamed and thrived, and it continues to contribute to our understanding of the ancient ecosystems and the evolutionary history of life on Earth. Fuquasaurus was exceptional in that its skull was not kinetic, the tooth-bearing maxilla would be so strongly fused to the vomer that a sideways chewing motion would have been impossible.
Akashosaurus was unlike most hadrosauroids due to the fact that it possessed an antorbital fossa, as well as three subsidiary ridges on its maxillary teeth, similar to those of Equijibus. Koshi means an old Japanese regional name including Fukui Prefecture where fossils of the genus were discovered. The holotype individual of Fuquiditan seems to have been fairly small in terms of overall sauropod sizes, and may be a reflection of living upon a smaller land mass. Based upon similarity between the caudal vertebrae, Fuquiditan has been considered as possibly being related to Borealosaurus from China. Fucoraptor is a dinosaur that really does not deserve the raptor part of its name. This is because when it was discovered, one of the large hand claws was interpreted as being a killing claw on the second toe, similar to other dromaeosaurids that have the epithet raptor. Later analysis resulted in a reconstruction that had the claw in its correct place, at the end of the fingers. Now Fucoraptor is known to have been a carnosaur. Fucivenator had an estimated length of 2, 5 meters and an estimated weight of 25 kilograms because of the long neck and the heterodont uncerated teeth, the probably foremost of which had flattened outer ends, the describing authors suggested that Fucivenator was no longer a pure carnivore but had adapted itself to an herbivorous or at least omnivorous diet. Tyrannomimus were named as a new genus and species of Ornithomimosaur in 2023. The generic name is a reference to its morphological similarities with Tyrannosauroids, particularly the vertical ridge of the ilium previously believed to be a synapomorphy of that clade and shared with Aviatoranes. Fucipteryx shows several autopomorphies that indicate that it was not a very basal species, in the sense that it would be outside of aviali. A pygostyle, a fusion of the posterior tail vertebrae, is present, suggesting that the loss of a long tail was a less important step in the evolution of flight than was previously thought. The Yizo group is a stratigraphic group in Hokkaido, in Japan. It consists of marine forearc basin sediments, typically turbididic and bioturbated mudstones and sandstones with subordinate conglomerate primarily deposited on the continental shelf and slope of the ancient Yizo subduction margin. Named Haberotuthus Poseidon by the researchers, the creature was a Cretaceous member of the lineage that contains modern squid. And from its jaw size, it was quite an impressive invertebrate. Measuring a ridge that runs up the front of squid beaks, Tanabe and co-workers found that Haberotuthus had a crest length of about 5 cm. Anomalocles was a land turtle, on the basis of a good carapace and partial plastron collected from the upper Cretaceous. It is unusual in the possession of the crescent-shaped nuchal with horn-like anterior projections. 
Its geological age was determined as the Cenomanian by the Radiolarian assemblage contained in the matrix. Like other Dermochelians, Mesodermocles had elongated front flippers. One fossil found in Japan's Kagawa prefecture had a carapace estimated to be 1.3 meters in length, and specimen from Hokkaido had carapace up to 1.5 meters only the neural or spinal scuts, or individual plates, of the carapace are well grooved. Phosphorosaurus was small compared to most other mosasaurs, but rather standard in size for a halosaurine. Analysis of Phosphorosaurus biology suggests that this mosasaur was a deep water or nocturnal hunter, potentially preying on animals such as squid and bioluminescent fish similar to the modern lanternfish present in the same areas. Its large eyes had overlapping fields of vision, giving it depth perception which would have given it an advantage when chasing such animals in poorly lit conditions. Like Tylosaurus, Tanuasaurus has a lack of teeth on the front most parts of the jaw, something that has been seen as an adaptation for ramming prey suggesting that Tanuasaurus had the same method of hunting and attack. The snout however is proportionately shorter than in Tylosaurus, suggesting a proportionately smaller prey preference. The skull of Mosasaurus was equipped with robust jaws capable of swinging back and forth and strong muscles capable of powerful bites using dozens of large teeth adapted for cutting prey. Its four limbs were shaped into robust paddles to steer the animal underwater. Its tail was long and ended in a downward bend and a paddle-like fluke. Mosasaurus was a predator possessing excellent vision to compensate for its poor sense of smell, and a high metabolic rate suggesting it was endothermic, an adaptation in squamates only found in mosasaurs. Based on the sediments it was preserved in, the Nipponosaurus specimen is thought to have been buried in a marine setting. However, this would not have been far from the shore, as indicated by the relatively complete nature of the specimen and the presence of fossilized terrestrials plants found alongside it. This indicates the species may have lived primarily on low-lying plains near the coast, a lifestyle consistent with some of its North American relatives. Camosaurus was about 8 meters long. From the width of its thigh bone, its weight has been estimated at 5 tons, dependent on its having been bipedal or quadrupedal respectively. The describing authors indicated some distinguishing traits. Three of these were autopomorphies, unique derived characters. Although established upon the description of just a few bone fossils, comparison to better preserved relative genera allows us to infer that Paralithorizinosaurus was a bipedal herbivore with very long claws on its hands. These claws may have been aids to help Paralithorizinosaurus to feed. Diagnostic traits of Chup Kearneys include a finger-like projected tibiofibular crest of femur, deep, emarginate lateral excavation with a sharply defined edge of the ventral margin of the thoracic vertebrae, and the heterocelous articular surface of the thoracic vertebrae. <laughs>